Imagine you had a great idea and shared it with the world. To make it a better place. To make it cleaner and quieter. To make people more comfortable. Businesses more successful. The world more connected. Would an idea that great ever fly? It will. And like nothing else. Boeing Forever New Frontiers. You talk too much. Dick Cheney, Jamie Gorelick, Richard Benveniste, John Lehman, and Chairman Tom Kane, Howard Dean, John Kerry, Condoleezza Rice, Condoleezza Rice, Condoleezza Rice, Chuck Schumer, George Pataki. Uh, we are safer and we are more proactive by doing that. But on the other hand, I don't think there's anyone who can look you in the eye and say that a terrorist or an organized attack uh, couldn't happen again. It can. Well, of course, of course, some people have done some things right, and I give them great credit. Uh, law enforcement officials and intelligence officials cooperating with other countries have succeeded in interrupting some cells. We all accept that. Uh, that is the least that we should expect. Look, there's a simple test here. Are there more terrorists in the world today than before 9-11 who want to kill Americans? The answer is yes. Are terrorist acts happening at a greater level today than they were at 9-11? The answer is yes. This is a failed policy. Yes and no. I mean, we clearly have done some things that we absolutely needed to do in tightening up our borders and sort of hardening the United States as a target. But there's also been tremendous waste. Any failures? Well, certainly. I'm sure there are many things that uh, could be done better. Uh, we would like to make uh, more progress. People would always like to make more progress. But, but anything specifically that well, you say, I, that, you I know, think, five years later, the war on terror again, hasn't gone history, as well? History will have to judge. I think we've all said Saddam Hussein, as far as we know, had no knowledge of, no um, role in the 9-11 plot itself. But if you think that 9-11 was just about al-Qaeda and the hijackers, then there is no connection to Iraq. Given what we knew at the time, was it right to take him down? Absolutely. Given what we know now, was it right to take him down? Absolutely. The Iraq invasion and occupation had nothing to do with terrorism and had nothing to do with 9-11. About Iraq, yes, it is a diversion. It's also a diversion for the terrorists. It's not, uh, uh, it's, there's no doubt it's contributed to our safety here because the jihadists are streaming to, uh, to Iraq. We've never been able to confirm any connection between Iraq and 9-11. And it's a question of whether or not al-Qaeda or whether or not Iraq was involved in 9-11. As a separate apart from that, it's the issue of whether or not there was a historic relationship between Iraq and al-Qaeda. Wasn't it a flat-out mistake to say we were in the last throes of the insurgency? I think there's no question, Tim, but the insurgency's gone on longer and been more difficult than I had anticipated. And um, those doubts are encouraged, obviously, when they see the kind of debate that we've had uh, in the United States. Uh, suggestions, for example, that uh, we should withdraw U.S. forces from Iraq, simply feed into that whole notion, validates the strategy of the terrorists. Uh, Secretary Cheney represents what's wrong with this administration policy, because we can be both strong and smart. We've seen a lot of strength from this administration, no doubt about it, but we certainly haven't seen enough smarts. We think, as a party, I'm speaking for the party now, we think we shouldn't be in Iraq, and we don't think we can withdraw our troops precipitously. It's a, a stunning turnaround by the administration in terms of strategy. They're now saying they're calling all of their critics bluffs and saying, no, either before it or again it. And, and he's not coincidentally, they're doing this a few months before the election to draw a line between those who agree with his way of fighting the war on terror and those who are against it. Is Iraq already in a civil war? Yes. Chris. It is the Iraqis who will have to settle their own differences, and indeed that's why they talk about a process of national reconciliation. I think we ought to seriously think about breaking it up, because the Department of Homeland Security is a huge bureaucracy, doesn't seem to have much focus, and it was sort of put together uh, very quickly after the 9-11 Commission began. You want to run for president again? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. I think if you've run before and if you've come as close as I did and you obviously ran for a reason in the first place, those reasons don't go away automatically. But I have to take a look at uh, whether or not uh, the, the support will be there and 
uh, what I feel about it, what my family feels about it, and I'll make those judgments over the course of the next months. You still have a lot of money left over from the last campaign if you want to run again, is that right? Well, we have some left over, but it's going to take a lot more than that. You're going to have to go out and raise a lot of money if you're going to run. Tim, I guess I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure what part you don't understand here. I've said all I'm going to say on the subject, Tim. Do you think the president should pardon Scooter Libby? I've said all I'm going to say on the subject, Tim. You wouldn't support a pardon? I've said all I'm going to say on the subject. Well, I can bet you a dinner that we hold both houses. Uh, I don't bet. You don't bet. All right. Forget Should it. I be relieved you didn't bring your shotgun in today? Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> You're not in season. <laughs> Mr. Vice President, I hope I never am. Right. Thank you. You talk too much. Imagination is the bridge to the future. Boeing. Forever new frontiers.